lot of things were happening in the backstory with me on staff, and they were starting to look for a new pastor. And so a little pressure started coming upon me to be that, the person to take the church. I love my senior pastor who just retired, but I think he just had a little bit more expectation on me than I could handle. And so I started creating a lot of confusion because he told me like, if you marry the right person, you can take the church. And I didn't know how to process all that, honestly. Through it all, my eyes are on you. And through it all, through it all, it is well. And through it all, through it all, my eyes are on you, and it is well with me. God really touched his life at this conference, and he's like, I was bawling, I was crying, and he's like, I feel a call to preach. And so I was like, okay, well, when I get home, like, we'll work with you on that, because I was a youth pastor. He went from being a kid in the youth group who was just, he was always there, but he just was there and to being like somebody who was like reading the Bible like six hours a day and like I didn't even do that and I'm like I'm the youth pastor and he's over there like just you know scarfing it down and he wants to memorize scripture and so during this time um, he ended up speaking at our youth camp and then after that um, he was looking around and thinking like oh who can I marry <laughs> and I ended up asking him Kana are you gonna be sad when I get married because I wasn't thinking about him at that time, like, I respected him, you know, and I and I thought, well, if I do marry him, in a very practical sense, if I do marry him, then I don't have to take the church, and I, you know, all this kind of stuff, and I was like, oh, and he's my friend, and I trust him, and yeah, I guess this could work in four years, like, I'll marry you, like, you're going to go to Bible school, you can come back, and I'll get married. During the youth conference, I was just there to care for her, and um, through that, she seen that I um, had feelings for her, and so, um, we were taking a car ride one day, um, or one night, it was night time, and she brought up the question, what would you do if, uh, if I married someone else? I asked her to wait till I was 20, and um, she didn't shoot it down, she would have been 34, and um, lo and behold, um, she actually was really speaking to God. Um, she was um, thinking about it, and um, God really shared with her to wait till she was 34. I knew that she had feelings for me because um, we were just really good friends. We were just friends, best friends, and um, coming out of youth camp, I wanted to make it permanent. Thing. So that's when I asked her. And uh, pretty surprised that she said, yeah. And it is well. you, know, you are amazing. You are beautiful. Uh, you are the love of my life and my biggest cheerleader. I promise to love you. I promise to be honest to you, to be there for you. And most of all, I promise to lead us to, to God. Uh, my dearest Kana, um, when people would mention if we have cold feet. I had no doubt that you had cold feet because you showed me that you're not going to run. And you have no idea how safe that makes my heart to feel. And it's because of that I'm standing here today. And with God as my help, I vow to love you with all my heart, soul, mind, strength. I vow to be your biggest cheerleader, to pick you up when you get knocked down, and to celebrate your victories, to cry when you cry. I vow to pray for you every single day. And I love, I just want to let you know, I love the way that you play with our daughter, that you care about her. That means so much to me, and I want to say thank you. It hasn't been easy. You know, I've asked you to wait so long, and you did.
took it to our parents and our pastors, it blew up. And obviously, we didn't handle it the right way um, because I mean, we have a daughter, so it wasn't the right order. Um, but here we are today, and um, that was probably the biggest storm that I've ever faced. And he wanted me to trust him, and um, I guess you could say like I did fail. Um, but I think what he's teaching me also is that my failure wasn't the end of the story.